Hey y'all, welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. In this video, we're going to talk about average atomic mass. Average atomic mass is a weighted average. We have some familiarity with weighted averages. Most grades are calculated for a weighted average. That's why our test grades mean more than our daily grades. Same thing with isotopes, except we use for our weight relative abundance. That's what these percents are. Relative abundance? What is that? Well, it just means if we took all of the nitrogen in the world, since nitrogen is the example we're using, if we took all the nitrogen on the planet Earth, 95% of that nitrogen is going to be the isotope nitrogen 14. And only 3% is going to be the isotope nitrogen 15. And only 2% of all of the nitrogen is going to be nitrogen 16. Now, if you're looking at this thinking, what, there's three kinds of nitrogen? then you need to go back and watch the isotope video. If we remember anything about math, we can't multiply by percents. Let's look and see how we set this up. We've got to move that decimal place over two times. So if we take those mass numbers and we multiply them by their percent, we've got 14 times 95%, 13.3. 15 times 3%, 0.45. 16 times 0.02%, 0.32. Now that we have these totals, we just need to add them up. 14.07. And let me bring your attention to something. We said that 95% of all the nitrogen is nitrogen 14. And look at that weighted average. It's much, much, much closer to 14 than it is 15 and especially 16. There is this machine called a mass spectrometer and it also can give you that same information that's asked in the question. We would use a mass spectrometer to identify unknown elements. These represent the isotopes. The mass number is on the x-axis. The relative abundance is on the y-axis. So we can see whatever this mystery element is, the isotope that has a mass of 90 has a relative abundance of 50%. The percent for the isotope of 91 is 10%. The isotope for mass number 92, 18%. And look, that 92 and 94 mass number is pretty much even. So 92 and 94, both 18%. And then don't forget this little bitty bar right here. When the mass number is 96, it is 4% abundant. Let's set that up like the last problem. Now, since this is an unknown element, I use the symbol X. You know, just like an algebra, X is our unknown. So when our isotope is X90, we're going to times that by that 50% and we'll get 45. When the mass number is 91, that's 10%, that's 9.1. 92 times 18% is 16.56. Mass number 94 times 18%, that's 16.92. Mass number is 96, that's times 4%, 3.84. And again, we just add them all up to get the average atomic mass of 91.42. The whole reason for mass spectrometer is to find the unknown. So now we would go to the periodic table. It's not exactly on, but 91.42, that's the number we're looking for. And look here at zirconium, 91.224. Let's go up and see if this one's closer. Nope, it's 88. Let's go down, 92. Zirconium, that's got to be the substance that we were running our sample for. You got it now. Average atomic mass, no problem. Are these videos helping you? That is all I want. I want to help you be successful. And the only way I can do that is if you like this video and subscribe. Also, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, bye y'all.